Hello, welcome to Maddock Brewery, and this is Jimmy. Hi, nice to meet you. And he's gonna pour himself a nice bit beer. Yeah, it's always the right time to drink a beer. Uh, so yeah, this is my wit beer. It's a um, it's a light beer. Well, that's what we call it. It's um, four and a half percent. Uh, it's a bit different than um, a German uh, Weiss beer. So uh, the wit beer is actually wit is Holland wine and Flemish. Uh, the wit beer has less than fifty percent malt, a wheat malt in it, and uh, has herbs in it. So. Germans couldn't do that with the purify law. We didn't have that in the old days. Uh, so uh, this one has uh, orange peel and uh, coriander in it. Yeah. I've tried it. It's a uh, really great beer, like all of uh, Jimmy's beers. Thank you. And this is his garage where he's got an amazing brewery. Yeah, it is yeah. small, but yeah. The small but growing all the time. Every time I come out here, it's getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, that's true. So it's actually a pilot system. Uh, so it's, uh, it's something that big breweries use to make new recipes on. And it works actually a bit the same like a big one. Uh, so that way it's easy to scale up to a bigger volume. Um, so you do all the handlings the same as on a big scale. Really handy. Yeah, and you've got the um, production of it is you've got it down fine tuned to be able to do a double batch every day. Yeah, true. Not, true. Maybe not every day, but yeah. Well, uh, as I have space in the fermenters, then uh, so it, the production actually is depending on the the room in your fermenters too. So the brew house could brew every day, but yeah, I can only fill up the fermenters that I have. So. Sure. And still, yeah, here in the garage, it's still in an experimental phase a bit. Um, of course, I'm hoping to uh, move in the future uh, to a bigger facility and I can produce more beers. And so a little warehouse would be great with a cellar door. Okay, great. And what, um, how did you get started in brewing? And um, I, I know that you've got a brewing degree that you got in Belgium. And uh, what, what got you into it? Well, uh, what got me into beers was drinking it, yeah. of course. So, um, well, um, the age you can drink beer in Belgium is a bit lower than Australia. So when we first went out, you get to experience all those great beers that are on the market. Uh, uh, didn't do anything with it for the first couple of years. Though. It's nice to drink beer, but never thought about it to make my own. Uh, and then I had a friend that was starting to do home brews. And I thought, like, oh, that's cool. I want to do that as well. So that's how all it started. So I uh, got myself a little Braumeister, uh, started brewing at home together with Annalise, uh, followed a few courses, um, and from one thing came another. Uh, we decided to stop what we were doing uh, and going uh, we, and both of us we went back to school uh, we wanted to make uh, brewing our life uh, and not a hobby anymore so uh, we went for three years to school to study brewing um, um, what was really interesting uh, with all the different kind of teachers that we had from all the big names breweries and, and that's kind of cool so uh, the one teacher that always that pops up in my mind the first is the cellar master from Rodenbach he's a really knowledge knowledgeable guy and to have teachers like that that's awesome uh, to have um, after that um, we went out and helped a bit in some uh, small breweries to learn a bit more about the production facility side, like how do they mesh, how, do, how does that, because at school you get a lot of theoretically uh, uh, parts of it, but uh, also a little bit of practice, but it's not the real thing yet. 
Uh, so we did that uh, before we moved to Australia. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, and I, I've tried all your beers, uh, but probably my favourite would be the, the quadruple. Um, it's the first one I've ever had, but it's just such an amazing flavour. And that's the thing with all all the beers that you brew is all the history behind them and you know it's it's yeah it's amazing all all the story behind all the different beers as well yeah, yeah. that's that's what i like as well and, and that's what we wanted to bring out as well is a bit the the tradition that we have because uh, it's pretty amazing if you see when it all started and all yeah. the monasteries with all the different beers and, and the traditions and and like how secret they are with the yeast and, and it goes on and go, goes on from family to family or it's, it's, it's pretty awesome so the beers are also a bit different uh, what I like as well is a bit more more body to it a bit more balanced sure uh, so um, well, that's a key thing I reckon that they do is they try to balance everything out that it all yeah. blends in nice and well together. Um, and I reckon that's from uh, brewing the same beers years and years and years to get that experience of like perfecting the beer. And, sure. Uh, hopefully that's something I can do as well. Yeah, uh, and the amazing uh, Belgium yeast that come through in them. Yes, that's right. Yeah, that's what I do as well. I use a different strain for every beer that I brew. Um, so, because yeah, I believe a lot, and it is a lot of the taste in a beer comes from the yeast. Of course, it's also your mold bill and your grain bill and uh, the herbs and everything you put in it, or the hops and, and so on and so on. Uh, but I reckon. Um, the yeast can bring a really nice extra dimension to a beer. Um, yeah, and that, I reckon that's typical for, for the Belgian beers that they yeast driven. Yeah, I, I'm definitely getting um, getting to see that taste those flavors more and more the more I have them. So yeah, and what are your plans for the future? You're almost outgrowing here, I think. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, the idea of this setup was um, that we could have a feel uh, because, yeah, we only moved two and a half years ago to Australia. So it's a big move, uh, a completely different culture. Uh, so we spent a lot of time learning uh, the market a bit as well and seeing what people like or not like. Would they like our Belgian style beers? Maybe some do, some don't. Uh, is it is it something that would sell or not? Yeah. Uh, and that's why we started in our garage actually uh, with the pilot system, uh, with the idea if we would scale up one day, hopefully it would be great uh, that I can still use this as my pilot system. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's great. And we're starting to see more and more of your beers out there in, in the bars. Whereabouts can can you try your beers and buy them? In the uh, shops? Well, we had in the beginning we had a lot of support. Uh, started more, I reckon, in Brisbane than on the Gold Coast. Uh, so we had Saccharomyces uh, that started to buy our beers from the beginning. It was really awesome. Uh, I thank them for that. Yeah. Um, we have Tipler Step. Uh, we started in some bottle shops now as well in Brisbane. Still looking for some bottle shops here on the Gold Coast. Uh, but not enough, not a lot, of course, sure. with the production that I have. Um, we have uh, a Sandbar that uh, poured our beers. Uh, we have Hauser Brews. They really like our beers as well, and the Wit and Blonde, especially. Especially the wit, it's, it seems to be because probably the light alcohol yeah. and, and easy drinkable, it seems to work really well. We have a Ladybird uh, restaurant uh, that serves all our beer. They have all our beers on, uh, they have the wit on tap and all the bottles. On, so the triple and the quad and the saison and so on and so on. 
So yeah, it's, it's spreading a bit more and more. So uh, Annalise is doing a great. Annalise, my wife, is uh, is doing a great job now with uh, getting it out there. So yeah, that's, that's it. it. And we're getting positive feedback, uh, and that makes it work well. Uh, that's why I do it to bring hopefully nice beers and that would make people happy and myself as well. <laughs> yeah, it's it's an amazing beer and. Um, I recommend it to um, to everyone to try it. And thanks very much for your time, Jimmy. Oh, it's been no great talking to you. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Cheers.